PSS Sink House Protection Suite is a powerful partner for your protection coordination needs. Whether for the generation of protection settings, in the verification of existing settings under various fault conditions, or in a post-mortem analysis. In the overcurrent time protection module, up-to-date protection device databases are inbuilt. Comprehensive fault clearance simulations for radio and mesh networks are available, and extensive documentation capabilities are also inbuilt. Overcurrent devices can simply be inserted in the network diagram on any branch element. Instrument transformers can be assigned to the protection device. The tripping characteristic curve of the device can be found in the inbuilt database of devices, where real devices from a vast range of manufacturers are available. Various types of devices are available in the database. Once selected, the types of tripping supported by the device for example, characteristic curve, first instantaneous, second instantaneous, third instantaneous, as well as the valid setting ranges are automatically loaded and those types not supported are greyed out. Float the mouse over the settings field to display the range of possible settings that the physical device supports. Syncal will check and only allow setting ranges within the supported range. The settings of the device can be easily visualized in a double logarithmic current time diagram. Particularly useful for the protection coordination of overcurrent devices in radio networks are grading diagrams. These are inbuilt in the protection documentation. Firstly, a protection path needs to be selected. This can be done through the use of the Route Selection tool. Once a path is selected, create the protection documentation through the Tools menu. Give the document a name and select a page size. To create a static documentation, create a diagram page. If more editing is needed, the selected electrical path and grading diagram can be created in a new view. Now in the diagram view, a protection documentation has been created with the given name. The selected protection path is now shown on the left with all network elements that were in the path. Selected data is shown for the elements and detailed information is shown for the protection devices, including current settings and acceptable setting ranges. The amount of data shown and in what format can be selected by the user through the usual filter and annotation menu. It is possible to click on the devices which directly opens the device setting form for editing of settings. The grading diagram shows the tripping characteristic curves. The curves and legend match the color of the devices. Which curves are shown can easily be selected by the user. Further characteristic curves can also be displayed. For example, thermal damage curves, motor startup, or short circuit characteristics. The range of possible short circuits can also be generated by PSS Syncal in the simulation mode. Insert a fault simulation at this bus bar. Now perform a maximum three phase and a minimum two phase short circuit. The minimum and maximum seen by the device so far are registered in the pickup and tripping data results tab. To use these values in the documentation, click here. Alternatively, a short circuit band 
used for the protection documentation can also be entered manually. For coordination, this band can now be displayed in the grading diagram. From the grading diagram, it can be seen that current settings are not adequate in many respects. For instance, short circuits in the low voltage level are not selectively cleared. This can be verified in the simulation mode using PSS SYNCAR's inbuilt fault clearance analysis. Consider simulating a three-phase fault at this bus bar. Turn on filter mode. These three devices have picked up and in the first loop, this device has tripped with a delay time of 50 milliseconds and these two other devices are due to trip with a longer delay time. In the following loop, the fault has been cleared and the fault currents fall back to zero. As can be seen, the fault has been cleared, but the devices are not selective. To make new improved settings without losing the current settings, create a new variant. From the grading diagram, it can be seen that the new settings are well coordinated. This behavior could be verified again in the simulation environment if needed. And this process can be repeated for all protection routes in the network. Once the protection settings have been finalized, the protection documentation can easily be printed to provide a comprehensive end documentation.